There's a point in every season when a team's true character is tested. For the Virginia men's soccer team, that was last Friday night in Germantown, Maryland. While UVA was the only team to defeat Notre Dame in the regular season, the first half saw the Irish well on their way to exacting revenge after a late goal put them up two to nothing at the break. Aubrey, chance to make it two, rounding the keeper and smashing it home. Devastating for Virginia. How we talk about it in the locker room is, you know, always believe, and that's George's, you know, go-to word when he talks to us and just always have that belief, that confidence in yourself that we've been playing this game for years and you know, we have the ability to play with anybody in the country and he wants to instill that. Working against Pat Wall, Wonders made it 2-1. Virginia's back in it right now. Still trailing the top ranked Fighting Irish by two with just over five minutes remaining, the Cavaliers needed an improbable comeback. Rondi DeFord, top of the box, trying to line up his right foot, will get the shot off, took a deflection in it. It's 3-2, Virginia's not dead yet. They're still breathing here in Germantown. Madison, Allen, oh, oh. to tie it up, shot the stairs. He hit a postage stamp. It's 3-3, three, three. Virginia's come back into it. After two scoreless overtimes, Virginia advanced to Sunday's championship on penalty kicks when Callie Brown stonewalled two Irish shots and sophomore Marcus Salandi DeFour calmly slotted home the last kick from the spot. Salandi DeFour led the charge in the second half. He has hit the game-winning penalty, and number one Notre Dame is out. Virginia advanced to face Maryland in Sunday's ACC championship. The physical match between the two bitter rivals was scoreless for much of the afternoon until an own goal in the 88th minute clinched the title for the Terrapins. Despite the setback, head coach George Gelnovach learned a great deal about his squad. We have a lot of spirit. It's young spirit. They're kind of fearless in a way. Uh, they don't really, I think we know we can score. You know, even in that Maryland game yesterday, if we had some more darn time in that game. I felt like, we felt like we would score. You know, the guys got themselves together. If we had another five or 10 minutes, and they didn't score that goal with two minutes, I felt like we could have probably gotten a goal because that's just how this group is. On the strength of strong performances down the stretch, UVA received the number eight overall seed in the NCAA tournament. The Cavaliers now prepare to face St. John's or Delaware at Clockner Stadium Sunday afternoon. I think we have a little bit of a bad taste in our mouth. Those guys wanted to win that game bad. I mean, really bad. I mean, I, I could tell. They have a little unfinished business. So I hope that plays a part into us getting ready for, for Sunday.